<laughs> I mean, one thing I do want to say is that I don't think LeBron James played particularly well tonight. Um, I know what the stats say, but just I didn't like some of the um, decision making. And also, even if you look at the assists, I'm pretty sure when he had 11 assists tonight, eight of them came in the first half. And yeah, that was because they no, were on fire. I don't think he was as dominant as he should have been in the fourth quarter, much less in the second half. I think a guy of LeBron's like stature just has to take over the game. And I get why he was pulling up and shooting and dishing it out. At one point, you have Draymond with five fouls. You have to attack Draymond Green. You have to attack the basket. You have to draw fouls. You have to go for the high percentage shots. And I think that's when you're the most dominant player in the game. When you're one of the most big, when you're one of the biggest players in the game physically. I mean, how many times tonight do we see him backing Steph down and didn't? He would drive on Steph, which you know is what you're supposed to do. But like, back the man down, draw that foul, take him out the game. Shout out, shout out to the MVP Stephen Wardell Curry for going out there and doing what I want Russell Westbrook to do. And that's when you're going three or sixteen from a game. Don't just go out there and give me empty assists, give me empty rebounds, give me empty possessions. I need you to play good defense. I need you to make smart plays, not turn the ball over. And although Steph Curry had two turnovers, I didn't feel like at any point in time any of the turnovers that he made were pivotal turnovers in the game where we saw it in 2016, we saw it in 2015, we saw it, hell, we see it all the time. He didn't have the ball. When he makes reckless, yes, he didn't have the ball. You want to know why? Because he when he don't Kevin have it, like hand. I told you, give the ball to the best, one of the best, if not the best, offensively skilled player in NBA history and let him go to work. All I wanted from Kevin Durant was to see something like this. This is all I wanted from him. Everybody, like, I know I love KD. So you think he tends to play too passively? He's way too passive. But on that like, team, the, on he's, that team, he's so passive oh. to the point where when people say KD playing like a bitch, I can't even argue with. On that team, though, I mean, granted, we've we've obviously seen you know between this year and last year, you know what he's doing with the with the chemistry of that team. But do you expect KD to be dropping forty points a night? Look on look, that team in the finals. Great, in, in, great in, if you can do it, but it, he I, look, need I, it. I don't need it every night. But yeah. you know when I do need it in the Western Conference Finals and in the NBA Finals. And we didn't got this performance from him once out of the past five games. I don't need this once out of the night. I don't need it once out of every five games. I need it consistently. He has been good, but he has not been Kevin Durant. The same way as we were watching the game, you said, I don't need LeBron James to be good. I need him to be perfect because that's what I expect from him. The same thing with Kevin Durant. The same reason all season long I've been saying Kevin Durant is the best player in basketball. And then in the playoffs, he's you know been what, playing bro? great, but he's been kind of up and down. I, think, I, mean, I need him to go out every yeah. single night and dominate. I don't want to hear about skill. I don't want to hear about AAU. I don't want to hear about when he played with Beasley. I don't want to hear about what happened when he grew up as a kid in Maryland. You are dominant. You are playing the game right now. Go out there. Be the best player on the floor. He can do this every single night. And some nights I look in his face and I'm like, I don't know if KD wanted it tonight. Did KD, and if I'm Russ and I'm playing with that and I'm me KD, and the mentality KD, I got, which KD, I'm sure but, Russ got, KD, get the out the way KD, and give me the ball. KD is not a killer instinct basketball player. Well, well, then the, 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 I don't take away from his greatness. He's just I not need, a killer instinct basketball player. I don't player. need him to be tonight. a role player. I need he, him to be a lead tonight. player. He but he's tonight. not consistently. Yeah, I mean, he's a... Uh... I mean, I just I feel like all of this has been said. Like we knew K- KD, what he gave you over fifty points in the first two games. Still, uh, he just was on fire tonight. So how I look at it is with Steph, right? How this team operates with KD doing what he did tonight is when you have Steph kind of shoot like so he's so Steph went one for ten from three. Mm-hmm. So let's say Steph makes three more. Okay, has nine more points, finishes with twenty points. Mm-hmm. Then this isn't much of a game, and that's kind of how the Warriors look. Yeah. Um, with KD operating as like the number one, it kind of looks like this. Now I don't know if he KD shoots ninety five percent from the field or whatever it was. It felt like that. Yeah, it was ninety five. He went fifteen to twenty three. Uh, I mean, shit. Right. let's not forget Clay also only had ten points. Yeah, Clay. Yeah, I think I mean, Draymond five. ten. Yeah, Draymond ten. Javale McGee ten. Steph Curry eleven. Uh, Clay Thompson ten. Uh, Jordan Bell ten. Sean Livingston, 10. Livingston eight. eight. Nobody else scored. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Iggy had eight. Yeah. Nobody else scored. But that's but that's a I mean, ton damn of yeah, everybody like, who played. Got that's a great team. That's effort. a great team, especially yeah. with but Steph. You want that many point. guys getting in double you know, double digits? But I but, but you can't but, do that in but Oklahoma Steph, City. Steph and Clay. You're right. You, you can't do that in Oklahoma. No, no, but no, no. But this is what I'm saying. No, no, no. Because you still gonna have people out there even after this. Well, Kevin Durant still with their NBA unfair competition. No, what we wanted was Jeez great. Fuck, what we man. wanted was game. Well, it's you, just over with. It's three years. You ago. say that. You say. You it. say that. But people still harp on it. I'm not one of those people. I, I was happy for him. 
Don't do it. I was mad he went and ruined the Warriors, but guess what? If I cannot watch Steph Curry he, lose, he ruined the team that you. No, wait a minute. Because because or? as a, as a person who had been watching the Warriors, especially as Steph started to rise, seeing that team and the way he played on that team with that rhythm and how they looked, it was amazing basketball to watch you, because of what we were seeing. Now, no, no, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You think, KD, you think the Warriors are winning a ring last year? No, wait a minute, without KD. wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 you, no you missed my point. My point is they are a better team now. I even said during the game to Pavy specifically. Remember when, although I said I don't want KD on his team because I like watching Steph shoot and pull up from 35 every time, before when you needed those buckets that Kevin Durant was giving you in isolation or when you put him on the block or when you just gave him the ball said, just go give me a bucket and give me a bucket in the interior, before instead of Harrison Barnes. I mean, I'm sorry, before instead of Kevin Durant, that was Harrison Barnes. Well, you know, so coming off of that, yeah. yes, although I love watching Steph yeah. pull up from 35, well, KD, I would much rather KD watch them have also- an 11-point game and then win the game because the other guy out there is so goddamn cold that ain't nothing you can do about it than to watch them lose the game. Katie like has, a, Katie has a far better shot selection than Steph and Clay do. Maybe not as much as Clay, but definitely Steph. No, wait, whoa. And no, selection, no, not as but much as Clay. But in both yeah. of them. Beth, okay, but both in both of them. them. I see Clay take shots and I'm like, you wild. Yeah, it's because Katie can get whatever shot. That's yeah, but if you decide to shoot all time, he also, time, pick, he also picks shots. better shots. I mean, Draymond, we've seen Draymond time and time again, season after season. Just looking at the, these guys as they're running up and down the court, just like, why are you shooting the ball? You know, there have been countless times we've seen Draymond not bring the ball up. Steph will just come up, pull it, miss it, and Draymond is like, what, the f- what are y'all doing? Run the plays. That doesn't really happen anymore, and I think getting KD involved takes away from that because you do have a guy out there that's going to take better shots, yeah. pick better shots. I mean... He's very, you know, we talk about not seeing him consistently turn up and just be this killer instinct. He's kind missed of the game three, as um, who said that on 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 the after show was it Chauncey Billups? Chauncey, yeah, Chauncey, Chauncey Billups is. called him. He's missed the game three. I'm not gonna take credit for that. Yeah. That was big. That was missed a big shot. Called him. But, missed a big but, game you know, in three. One, but in one sense, we're saying that he doesn't take over games enough. In the other sense, we're saying that he's got a, be- a great shot selection. It's best that he doesn't just pull up from everywhere. Well, to me, well, to I, me, I think he didn't. Well, okay. I, I know what you're about to say, but to that point, he was taking good shots. Yeah. He wasn't making them. He was blaming it on the defense. Go ahead, because I know you're about to say to defense. Me, KD is just even just watching his interview with um, Michael Beasley. Come KD on, I, I, I just said earlier, I don't want to hear about no mother Michael listen, Beasley, listen, no listen, AAU listen, shit. Listen, listen, Get listen, that listen, shit listen, out listen, of here, man. Come he on. said that he felt like the way that um, that Beasley made it to the league was harder because he was just playing off instincts. Like, he, Beasley wasn't in the gym every day doing drills, doing it. He said, like, yo, I was in the gym every day doing drills. Like, okay, you do, do, boom, Katie's do this. a skill player with exactly. Beasley, just so, naturally. Just, exactly. So, yeah. I feel like if you're more naturally and you're just playing off instincts, sometimes you might go out there and wow the f*** out and it may work. Katie's not going to do that. Like, even when KD plays bad, I'm not, I'm, I'm like... Is I'm LeBron not like, all skill? Listen, listen, just listen, just listen. But still, I don't feel like Braun was raised in the same way of playing basketball as KD was. I don't feel like Braun was in the gym like, okay, boom, boom, two steps, pull up, boom, boom, two steps, pull up. I feel like Braun learned that shit just instincts. Whereas in KD, even when he plays bad or like shoots bad, I'm not like you was wild. I'm like, yo, you know what? You took the shots you were supposed to take. It just didn't fall tonight. You can't do anything about your shots not falling. Sometimes your shots don't fall.